Hello, I'm Brian Farrell, and welcome to Pace IT's session on Risk-Related Concepts, Part 3. Today I'm going to be talking about treatment of risk, cloud computing and virtualization risks, and then some other risk terms and concepts. I have a fair amount of ground to cover, not a whole lot of time, so let's go ahead and begin this session. Of course, I'm going to begin by talking about treatment of risk. Now, the treatment of risk is actually our approach to handling risk. Once a risk has been identified, there are five main approaches to dealing with it. There's mitigation. This is the implementation of some type of control, as in an administrative or technical control, to reduce either the probability of a risk occurring or the severity of the event if it does occur. Then there's acceptance. That's taking no action to either reduce the probability of the event occurring or the severity of the event if it does occur. This is deciding that the impact of the risk does not justify the expenditure of resources to get rid of the risk. Then there's transference. This is making the risk another entity's issue. It's usually done through the purchase of insurance. And then we have avoidance. This is where after identifying a risk, it's determining to avoid pursuing any action that may lead to the risk event occurring. While risk can be avoided, this may mean the loss of a business opportunity. And finally, there's deterrence. An attempt is made to deter the risk from occurring, usually through the use of potential punishment, as in termination of employment or prosecution. Deterrence is one of the least common approaches to dealing with risk. Now let's move on to cloud computing and virtualization risks. Cloud computing can create benefits to a business. IT needs, including data storage, can be offloaded to another entity, thus reducing a business's cost. While this may be beneficial, careful thought must go into the decision-making process. This includes a thorough analysis of the risks that may be present. A review of the provider's security is in order before any business should place crucial data on a cloud provider's system. The reliability of the provider's system should also be evaluated to ensure that availability meets the business's requirements. Additionally, in some cases, data and applications cannot reside on a hosted system because this may violate regulations. Always do your due diligence before engaging in cloud computing and virtualization. This will allow you to mitigate the risks that may be involved. And now let's conclude with some other risk terms and concepts. First up is asset. It's any resource that a business needs in order to function. And it can be anything from as minor as a pen or pencil to as major as a metropolitan area network. Then we have the false positive. This is when an application or system implemented for security warns of a threat that is not actually present. It is common for anti-malware applications to block legitimate applications from executing due to a false positive. In these situations, it may be necessary to train that anti-malware application to allow that other software package to execute. Then there's the false negative. This is when an application or system implemented for security fails to warn of a risk that is actually present. While false positives may be an annoyance, false negatives are dangerous. The situation presents a risk in itself. The failure to warn or block an actual risk allows that risk to occur. Then there's vulnerability. In this situation, it's a weakness in the configuration of software or hardware. Then there's threat. It's an event that can cause harm or reduce the value of an asset. Then there's the threat target. It's a system or device that is the object of a threat event. Then there's the threat vector. It's the mechanism, tool, or path used to exploit a weakness in networks, systems, or software. And finally, we have the threat actor. This is the person or entity utilizing the threat vector to exploit a weakness. That concludes this session on risk-related concepts, part three. I began by talking about treatment of risk, and then I moved on to cloud computing and virtualization risks, and then I concluded with a brief discussion 
on other risk terms and concepts. On behalf of Pace IT, thank you for watching this session, and I hope you watch another one soon.